Hello, hello, good evening. How are you? Welcome back. Good night, teacher. Hello, good evening. It's a, it's a pleasure to have you here. Thank you, teacher. Thank you very much. Mr. Diego, no me sale conectado su audio. Será que tendrá algún problema. You can report it on the chat. No puedes probar sin los audífonos, tal vez así te funcione. Hello, how was your weekend, people? What did you do? Um, when in my case, I was working uh, only Saturday. Uh -huh. Yesterday, I, I was at home with my daughters. Okay. How many daughters do you have? Two daughters. Two daughters. Oh, that's so cute. How old are they? Um, one of them uh, is 20, 21. 21. Wow. That's so cool that they are like adults now. <laughs> yeah. And the other uh, is 11. Almost half of, <laughs> oh my God, so so it happens, right? Yeah, <laughs> many, many people say that when you have only one kid, then the other one comes many years later. Yeah. And, and you, you are the second person that I know that has, <laughs> that has really? a, an old kid and then a very young one. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> so that's yeah. like, that's like never say never, right? Yeah, it's true. <laughs> okay, well, but that's fantastic because I mean the other one, it's it's almost an adult and she can help you a lot with the the, the little one. Yes, <laughs> that's so beautiful. Thank you for sharing, Guadalupe. Hello, Wendy. How are you? Good evening. Hello, Isela, Mr. Diego, and Cynthia Marisol. Hello, teacher. Hello. It's a pleasure to have you here. Thank you very much for uh, being on time. Yes, today we are starting. Uh, there is like kind of rain coming, but I hope that we're going to finish the class before the rain. So I am happy that you had a good weekend, right? Many of you have mentioned that you had a good weekend. And so the most important thing is that you are back. Welcome to our week number three, right? We're uh, working this week with uh, places in town and we are starting to work with uh, past tense, right? That's what we are going to be doing this week. It's going to be a lot of good work. We are going to be doing a little review of the places in town, how to give directions, and we are also going to work on the introduction of past tense. And next week, that is our week number four, we are going to work specifically with past tenses, regulars, irregulars, and also with the, the use of the verb to be in past, right? That's the, one of the last topics that we are going to be doing. So I hope that all of you are ready for what, what it comes, right? We are exactly in the middle of the program and we have many things to cover still, right? ¿Qué hace que le dije, hola, qué tal? Primera vez que nos vemos, segunda vez para alguno, tercera vez para otro. And now you see we are in the middle of this module and we have to continue working because we have many more things to come. So welcome and I hope that you had a beautiful weekend. We are going to start today with a little word search, right? We are going to do a word search and first of all, for sure, I am going to share my screen to start with the class and for sure to start work. Okay. Hello. Hello, Sandrita, welcome. Thank you. Welcome, todos te queremos, mi amor. 
<laughs> okay, good. So those are like, like the comments in the right moment. Remember our agreements for the classes, practice your English as much as possible, ask for help when needed, keep your cameras on all the time, please. The camera should be on during the whole session. Eso sí, se los he recordado en muchas ocasiones, se los sigo recordando que la cámara es un requisito de nuestra clase. Les agradezco muchísimo a todos los que la mantienen activa durante los 60 minutos de la clase, ¿ok? Así que, porfa, a los que aún no la hemos activado, hagámoslo. Ese es un requisito primordial de nuestra clase. Keep your microphones off if we are not using them. Attend all your sessions on time. Thank you very much for being here on time. Keep a cooperative attitude during class. I don't have to tell you this because you are very helpful and cooperate with your friends on the WhatsApp group. Remember, if you need anything, thank you for all the ones who were sharing apps. Por ahí uno de sus compañeros nos compartió una app para practicar listening. Está en el chat, está muy buena. Yo la descargué, está muy bonita. Así que like para la app. So. Very nice. If you want to download it, you can do it. It's a very good one. And I recommend it to all my students, right? A todos los estudiantes de donde yo trabajo se las recomendé también. Y le gustó un montón. So please follow the recommendations of your friends. We are going to start today with a little word search, right? As we are working with places in town, I am going to give you the chance for you to find places in town in the word search. I need you please to take notes of the ones that you find, right? Try to look for them and write them on your notebook. I made one for you already, okay? I did the first one for all of you. I did the gas station, right? I need you to look for more and I need you to write it on your notebook, right? Write, it, write the answers on your notebook. Mr. Jorge, tell me. Teacher, I see drugstores. Drugstore, in which line? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Which one? Which line? Number one, two, three, which line? Three. Number three, right here have? Drug store. Where is the supermarket? In the last. In the last yeah. line, right? Supermarket. Another one. Restaurant. Restaurant. Where is the restaurant? Um, from. How can I say? Right. To the left. Uh -huh. and, um, Vertical. Oh, no. <laughs> on the corner. Very good. On the corner. Yeah, on the corner. <laughs> on the corner. At the end. On the corner. At the end. Down. Right? From the corner from the down corner. to the other down. corner. Right? Okay. Restaurant. Thank you, David, for helping yeah. me. Very good. If you want to help me, you can do it. Here you have a store. Store. Right? Another one. Another one. You have drugstore, store, restaurant, supermarket. Another one. Okay. Look, 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 look. Bookstore. Bookstore. What is the bookstore? Mm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. In the hacia abajo. <laughs> okay, you say eleven down. So you say eleven. Eleven down. Down. Here you have okay. two things, right? We have book store and bookstore, right? Bookstore. Bookstore. Good. You okay. have bookstore here. Thank you. You have a combination with David. Okay. And I, where is the hotel? A la par de bookstore. <laughs> so how do you say a la par de? How do you say a la par de? Next, next to? to. Next to? Good. Next, next to? to? Next to the bookstore. Next, next to, to the bookstore. Store. Hotel, right? Hotel. Very good job. Another one. Teacher, how can bank, I pero se me perdió. Which one, Guadalupe? How, how can I say uh, inclinado? 
because I see post office, but uh, but it's in the, the, the position. <laughs> okay, in this case, you say from the corner in diagonal. Uh, diagonal, uh, right? So you say, I see post office, but I don't know how to say it, right? <laughs> there you go. Here, in fact, we have the post office, right? We have the post office right here, right? Post office. It's yeah. in diagonal, right? Very good. The post office. Do you see any other one? Bank. Bank. The bank. Where is the and bank? To down. Okay, from this to down, um, where? I'm fine. Ahí. Okay. Ah, ahí, ahí. <laughs> so you say, okay, on the second line, up, right? On the second line, up, bank. Is there another one? No. Is there any other one? No more? Ten. Yeah, ten, but that's not a place in town. Tenemos un ten ahí, pero no es un place in town. Okay. So there we have. We have different places, right? We have different places here. We have the first one is the gas station, right? Write it on your notebook because you are going to use it, okay? Escribanlo en su cuaderno. The first one is the gas station. Gas station. This is the first one, gas station, okay? The next one is the supermarket. The supermarket. Supermarket. The next one is, okay, I, well, I'm going to cross them out, the ones that I am using already, okay? The first one that, what, that we did was the gas station, then the supermarket, then the bookstore, the bookstore, then the restaurant, the restaurant, then the drugstore, in the drugstore is not the place where you're going to go and get drugs. No, the drugs are the medicine, right? It is not something bad indeed, right? The drugstore is the place where you can buy medicine. The next one, it's the hotel, right? The hotel. And the last one is the post office, right? And then we have the bank. Then you have the bank as well. Okay. So with those places, we are going to do something later on. Okay. Keep it there. Keep them there. And I think we don't have any more, right? Those are the places that we have. We're going to use it. Okay. Keep them there. Excellent. So talking about the places in town, I sent you a little image, right? Where we have the different things in the different places that we have around the city, right? En la imagen que les envié el día jueves o el viernes en la mañana, eh, teníamos diferentes lugares de la ciudad, right? And that's what we are going to do today. What places do we have in these pictures? We have the bank. A bank. A, a, gas drugstore, a gas station, a post a office, a restaurant. a restaurant, and a bookstore, right? Tell me, if I need, if I need medicine, where do I go? You have to go to the store. Aha. Okay, so I am going to tell you the following. People, I need, and I'm going to give you an object, and you are going to tell me where to go. People, I need to buy pencils. Where do I go? Bookstore. Go to the bookstore. Okay, you say, well, okay, from these ones, from this one. So you say, go to the bookstore. People, I need to eat. I am hungry. Yum, 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 yum. Go to a restaurant. Go to a restaurant. People, I need to buy an aspirin. 
Go, go, to the, go to the drugstore. People, I need some gasoline for my car. Go to the gas station. Okay, people, I really need money. Go to the bank. Go to the bank. Work, you said. Go to the bank. I need to send. I need to send a letter to my mother. Go to the post office, right? Go to the post office. From the ones that we have here, right? From the ones that we have here. I need to buy some vegetables. Go to a supermarket. Go to a supermarket. Very good. I need to, uh, I need to, let me see. I need to order something to eat to my house. Call, call the restaurant. Call the restaurant, right? Very good job. And for sure here, uh, for example, I need to deposit some money. Go to the bank. Go to the bank, right? Excellent job. Talking about the different places in town, we have many different places, right? It's not only one or two things. Talking about the places in town, there are many things to talk about. For example, here, I wanted to make a short, a short chart with all of them. I am going to send it to you right now. Okay, ahorita se los mando, tranquilo, no se estresen. ¿Cómo voy a copiar todo hace una hora? No, I am going to send it to you right now. And we have many different places. The first one is one of the most important places of El Salvador. What is that one? <laughs> Pupusas place. The Pupusas place. Olo Quilta. Olo Quilta, right? The Pupusas place is one of the most important things in El Salvador. And you have... <laughs> no, que no va a dormir, que vea la clase. <laughs> so... <laughs> We have here, one of the most important places to find in your city, it's a good pupusas place. That is the first and most important. Do you have a favorite one? Is it near your house? If you found it, perfect, right? One of my favorite pupusas places is in Los Planes de Renderos. It's a very delicious restaurant that is there. It's called Pupuseria Patricia. I think it's called, <laughs> but it's very good. Los Planes is very beautiful. Yeah, Los Planes de Renderos is a beautiful place to be and to go and have dinner with your family, right? So one of my favorite pupusas places is there. I love it, right? So that's a pupusas place. The question here is, is there a pupusas place near your house? Is there a pupusas place near your house? ¿Hay alguna pupusería cerca de su casa? No, there isn't. Yes. Yes, yes there is, right? And if you have mm. more than one, yes, there are. Si, yes, tiene, there más are. De, si tiene más de una, yes, there are. Yes, there are. Yes, there are. Okay. <laughs> The many good ones, pupusas many pupusas places. Are all of them good? Todas son buenas? Uh, no. No. <laughs> right. yeah, that, I, I love that one, right? We are like catadores I... de pupusas. <laughs> and there are some good ones and there are others that are like, mm, no, maybe not. So that is the first place that I wanted to add. The next one, a park, right? Is there a park near your house? Park. One. Yes, there is. So you say yes. there is one there or is one. there are two, there are three, there are four, right? There is one. There is one, very good. Then you have the bookstore. The bookstore and the library are two different things because the library, it's a place where you can go and read the books, okay? where you can go and investigate, where you can go and do research. But the bookstore is where you can buy books, notebooks, paper, everything, 
right? Mm -hmm. For us, in, in El Salvador, when you say librería, it's donde vas a comprar desde un lapicero hasta el Popol Buda. That's the <laughs> library. But in English, that's a bookstore. A bookstore, it's where you can buy everything, right? Plástico, cuadernos, libros, everything. And the library is where you can go and study or read or do research or find things on the computer, right? That's a library, right? We have here these new places that, that they have that are like the cubos, right? En los cubos, puedes ir a hacer eso, puedes ir a investigar, a leer y hacer muchas cosas. So people don't normally use it, right? Lastimosamente tenemos esa cultura de no leer tanto. Así que... <laughs> Si le podemos inculcar eso a nuestros hijos, hagamos. It's very important to read, right? To read, investigate, and to be curious. So that's the difference, right? Between the library and the bookstore. We also have other places, right? In El Salvador, we have a lot of these ones. Bars, hotels, grocery stores are many, 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 many. What is a grocery store? A grocery store is that little place that is near your house, right? Where you go like, Niña Mari, boy, that's a grocery store. And then you go like, do you have choco banano? Yes. Okay, give me one Coca-Cola. <laughs> <laughs> and then that's the grocery store, the little place where you can go and buy things near your house. Nowadays, the grocery stores are like mini supers, right? They have everything. Hasta agua cristal tienen ahí. Ahí viene usted con su garrafón para la casa. So that's like, Teacher, yes. Es como, no sé si estaré equivocada, pero como la diferencia entre teacher and professor. Oh, well, no sé si será lo mismo. Like the library and the bookstore. Uh -huh. No, 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 no. Well, the teacher and the professor. Uh -huh. That's a good thing uh -huh. because they are similar. But the teacher, for example, in, in the case, it's like the normal teacher at the school and everything. And the professor, it's a person who teaches at the university. Okay. Mm -hmm. So son los catedráticos. Uh -huh. so that's, a professor. <laughs> that's a professor, right? And a teacher, it's the, a teacher that can teach at the school, here, online, and everything, right? And it's similar where you have things that are similar but different like the bookstore and the library. They are similar, but different. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you for sharing, Isela. The grocery store, la tiendita, right? The discotheque, you know what the discotheque is, right? Yeah, lugares que ya no visitamos por nuestra rodilla. <laughs> the discotheque. <laughs> yeah. The hospital. Que metro en el hoy. The hospital, well, that's the problem, right? We have more dates at the hospital than at the discotheque, right? Tenemos más citas en el hospital que en la disco. That's a problem. la discoteca, el hospital. So, yes. Tengo, una, tengo cuatro citas para Valentine's. It's like, wow, qué, qué famoso. Les sí, en la dental, en la metabólica, en la clínica. Many. Cardio. Cardio. So there you go. The hospital, right? You know, the hospital. The bakery. The, mm. ba the bakery, <laughs> it's one of the most delicious places that we can have in town. It's la My panadería. Favorite. <laughs> My favorite place. La culpable que nos toque ir al hospital. There you go. The police station, right? We have the police station. The car garage. What is this? This is not the garage in your house, right? The garage in your house is where you put your car. But the car garage is where you take your car for them to check it, right? When there's the mechanic, there's like, mm, uh -huh, the yeah, el taller, exactly mm -hmm. like that. That's a car garage. The funeral parlor, it's a, uh, well, the last, the last place that we are going to visit, right? Este es el último que vamos a visitar, but not right now, later. Okay, the bueno. funeral parlor, la funeraria. Mm -hmm. The butcher shop, it's la carnicería, the butcher shop where you can go and buy the carnitas for the asado, right? The butcher shop. The but hardware store, the hardware store is like Bidri, Freon, and all these things, right? That's a hardware store. It's like ferretería. The vet is where you can take the animals for them to be checked. 
la veterinaria. Then the clinic, it's smaller than the hospital. The hospital is big, right? But the clinic is like mm -hmm. the Fossa Salud, right? We have a small one. Mm -hmm. The dental clinic is where you go and check your teeth, right? Where you yeah. go and say, say, ah, and they check you, right? The beauty salon, mm -hmm. it's where you go and do your hair, your nails, your lips, everything, right? That's the beauty salon, right? El salon de belleza, the beauty salon. And then you have the church. The church, right? Any type of church, the name is the same, right? Just say evangelica, cristiana, católica, whatever. Church is church. Right? You can say it's a Catholic church, a Christian church, etc. Right? You can make the difference there. Then we have the next one here. That for the ladies, we have the beauty salon, right? But for the men, we have the barber shop, right? The barber shop is for the men where they can go and cut their hair. They can go and uh, fix their beard and things, right? They can go to the barber shop. The barber shop is for men. The ice cream shop, as all these things like Sarita, La Neveria, and all these things, all these are ice cream shops. Boston. The Boston, I think. Carissimo, but delicious. <laughs> there you have the pet shop. The pet shop. Llega. Carissimo, por cierto. Cari, cari, carissimo de Paris. <laughs> so you say the pet shop. The pet shop, it's that place where you can go and buy things for your animals, right? Where you can go and buy the, the little collars, where you can go and buy the chains, where you can go and buy the little beds, all these things, right? Una tienda de mascotas. And you can also buy animals there. If you want to buy, I don't know, a dog, a cat, a turtle, whatever, you can go there, right? Adopta, no compre. The pet shop. The next one, you have the main hall. What is the main hall? This is la alcaldía, right? The main hall. Then we have the airport. In the airport, right, you know. You have all the airplanes and the things that are coming from different countries. Then you have the theater. The theater is el teatro, right? The gym, where you can go one day and we miss 30, right? Vamos un día y faltamos 30. The gym. But there are many people who like to go to the gym. ¿A quién le gusta ir al gym aquí? Raise your hand. Yes, I am. <laughs> okay, Isela likes to go to the gym. Wendy likes to go to the gym. That's very nice. All of the years, in fact. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty awesome. I like to do Zumba at the gym. That's pretty nice, right? Hagan Zumba, no agarren. <laughs> that's good, that's good, right? Agarre Zumba bailando, that's good. The next one, we have the university. The university, for sure, it's a place where you can go and study a career. The school is where you go every single day, right? The school, the daycare center. This is a guarderia, right? The daycare center, it's la guarderia. The tire repair shop, la llanteria. The tire repair shop. Then you have the zoo. Here we have one in El Salvador. We have Fureza, right? That it's, no. that it's the, first, the only one that we have. Then we have the restaurants, the computer shop, the computer shop where you can buy everything about computers, right? The dry cleaners, la lavandería, right? The spa where you can go and get a massage or something, right? Spa. The shoe shop, right? Shoe shop. No, the shoe shop, it's like tienda de zapatos, right? It's la tienda de chuchos, you know, the shoe shop, right? La tienda de zapatos. We have peles, a dog, all these things, right? The museum, uh, we have many here in El Salvador. And unfortunately, people never go to the museum. I don't know why. Tenemos tantos museos tan lindos en El Salvador y nadie los visita. Nadie. And it's a very beautiful place, right? The chapel, it's la capilla, right? Una capilla. 
in some of the cases, right, there are some churches that have these little places, right, capillas. Then you have the bus station, la parada de bus. And we have many in El Salvador. The pharmacy and the drugstore, they are similar, right? The pharmacy and the drugstore. It's, it's the same, right? The nursery, it's a place, for example, where you can go and buy uh, plants. Vivero. The nursery. That's the nursery. And you can, also, you can also have it as, we have the two things. We have the nursery garden that it's for uh, los, los plantas. The, nur the nursery garden is for the little plants, es un vivero. And we have, for example, the nursery that it's only for the little kids, right? Es como la, la nursería, la guardería. I don't, know, I don't know how to classify, how to make it different. Uh, it is, let me see. Yeah, it's very similar to the, to the daycare center. The daycare center is for bigger kids, right? El daycare center sería como para niños más grandecitos. La nursery es para los más chiquititos, right? Que voy a trabajar y tengo que dejarlo ahí, ¿verdad? Como la... la La nursería, la guardería para bebés. And the nursery garden es un vivero. Si le ponemos aquí a la par, garden, un vivero. And the nursery es para los bebecitos. Donde van a dejar a los niñitos chiquititos. Y tienes que ir a trabajar. The shopping mall, it's el, like metro centro, right? That's a shopping mall. The shopping mall. The kindergarten, el kindergarten. The store, it's any type of a store, right? Cualquier tienda. That's a store. The market is there where you feel the real love. Allá donde usted siente el verdadero amor. That's the market. Mi amor, que va a llevar? Pase, cosita, preciosa, chelita, no sé qué. Que no sé qué. And you're like, ah, thank you very much. <laughs> si algún día le anda faltando la autoestima, vaya al mercado. And then they are going to convince you to buy everything, right? The soccer field. The soccer field is la cancha. Right? The soccer field. The basketball court, it's la cancha de basketball. The stadium, it's like the new one that we have, right? The new and beautiful that we have. Como el que tenemos ahí recién hecho, el estadio. The swimming pool. All these things, right? From Los Chorros to Ichamichen, Calup, all these things, right? Swimming pools. Las piscinas. The nursery garden, it's the one that I was mentioning. It's El Vivero, right? The gas station, Texaco, Puma, Uno, all these things. Nadie me paga nada por estos comerciales. There you go. The gas station. The sports place, it's like the polideportivo, right? Where you can go and do everything. Tennis, basket, the football, everything, right? The port, we have one that it's very famous here in El Salvador. And here we have La Libertad Port, Sonsonate Port, right? That it's very, very famous, El Puerto. Then you have the factory, right? The factory, factory, see? We have many as well here in El Salvador. A lot of monuments where you can go and take very beautiful pictures, right? The monuments. Tenemos un montón de monumentos. Okay, la Celeste no cuenta. Because she's very horrible. I don't like it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's uno de los monumentos en los que no tengo foto de El Salvador. I don't like that. Les ha hecho la pobre pitufa. I, I don't know. I, I, I don't like her. She's very angry and everything. Tengo sí, fotos en todos lados. Ah, <laughs> que, que en el principito, Salvador del Mundo, no sé qué. Tengo fotos en todos los monumentos. But in that one, I don't like it. The viewpoints. The viewpoints son los miradores. Pinta. When you are going on the way to Sonsonate, to Los Naranjos, and all those places, when you are going to Ataco, you have these beautiful viewpoints. Even in San Salvador, we have very beautiful viewpoints. Then another one, right? We have liquor stores as well, right? Las cantinas, donde venden ahí licor. 
And then we have the mini markets, right? Los, los mini supers. The daily store where you can go and buy milk and cheese and cream and everything, right? The daily store. La tienda de productos lácteos. That's a daily store. Say la quesería. Quesería de mi simple. So there you have the daily store. The cinema. You have cinema. We have another one that it's Cinepolis, I think. That's a cinema. The eye, eye care center where you can go and check your eyes, right? El oculista. The club, right? I think we have like el club de Clen. Yo creo que es el único que conozco, right? In Santa Tecla. Árabe. El club árabe. It's true. Right, they have different places when they have swimming pools and things and you pay for a membership and you can enter, right? Then you have the convention center, el centro de convenciones. You can have this place where you can rent, right? Casi en todas las ciudades hay como un lugar donde rentan para fiestas y cosas así como grande, un espacio grande. And we have in, el, in San Salvador, for example, you have the convention center. We used to have a CIFCO, do you remember? Now I think we have it, but in a different place. Ahora lo tienen, pero en otra, en otra oh, ubicación. That's right, exactly. And you can use to go, and there was a big event there. What was the name of the event? Siempre había un evento bien grande in, in the convention center. What was the name? <laughs> a feria. Uh, yeah, but the, it was a very famous one in August. <laughs> I... Consuma. Consuma, right? Consuma was all the time in the convention center, right? And there were many people there. ¿Qué ibas a hacer a Consuma? A caminar. Comprarte un pedazo de pizza, un churro y regresarte. Con el hotel, yo rueda. To the attractions, right? To the amusement park. We used to go to the amusement park. The amusement park, it's another one. Okay, tenemos otro place in town. The amusement park. The amusement park son las ruedas. El parque de atracciones. That's a famous thing in August, right? Todo el estadio allá lleno de ruedas. The amusement park. I am not a big fan of that, right? Esa quizá una de las cosas donde nunca me van a ver. I don't like it. I am very coward, right? Me falta un poquito de... Rebeldía y valor. I don't like them. The taxi station, where you can go and get a taxi, right? The post office, eh, la oficina de correo. The fire station, no es la oficina del fuego. Es la oficina de bomberos, la estación de bomberos, the fire station. The jail, we, yeah. have, a, we have a big one there. They have the, the new one. El secot, that's the jail, right? <laughs> yeah. Ahí no queremos ir a vacacionar tampoco. The rescue station, it's, for example, where uh, we have here the red cross, the green cross. Tenemos como la, la cruz roja, la cruz verde. El, estos lugares como de, de acción rápida, right? That's the rescue, the rescue station. The temple, uh, it's, uh, it's the same word in Spanish, right? Un templo. And we have different churches that have this specific type of place. The car wash, where you can go to wash your car. The judge center, los juzgados, right? The laundromat, la lavandería. The flower shop, where you can go and buy flowers. The souvenir store, near eh, Hospital El Salvador. There is a souvenir store for Salvadorian things, right? El mercado de artesanías. So you have it there. The graveyard. Or the cemetery, it's the same thing, the graveyard, el cementerio. The embassy, it's the same thing as in Spanish. The radio station and the customs. The customs no son las costumbres, son las fronteras. Customs, okay? So there you have the different places in town. Hello. Aquí. Hello, no. Juanita. Ya vino Juanita. Hello, Juanita. Okay, from all these places, people, I need you to choose two places that you have near your house. And how are you going to tell me this? How are you going to report? And I am going to 
tell you like this. Let me see. Let me make it smaller for you and let me clear this. We are here, right? And we are going to use it like this. We have the different places in town. You have the picture, right? Esa foto ya la tienen ustedes, ya se las envié yo. And we are going to do the following. We are going to work like this. From all these places, you, can, you are going to say, there is a, and you are going to choose one here, near my house. And you are going to refer only to one place. And then on the second sentence, you are going to tell me there are many near my house. And in the last one, you can say, Okay, you have three different forms of sentence. In the first one, for example, I am going to do the first one for you. And in this one, I am going to use one here. There is a restaurant near my house, right? That can be the first one. There are many parks near my house. There is a a store, a, a pupusa's place, right? There is a store, a pupusa's place, and a car garage. Ah, sorry, 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 I made a mistake here. In a car garage near my house, right? You are going to create three sentences, one in singular, one in a plural, and the other one it's combined with many different places, right? There is a restaurant near my house. So you have to choose from all these places, one that is near your house. You can say there are many, and you can say stores, grocery stores, supermarkets, gas stations, whatever, near my house. And there is a, and you are going to choose three places. There is a hotel, there is a store, there is a supermarket near my house, okay? You have to create these three sentences using places that you have near your house, okay? Si no tenemos lugares, there are many houses near my house, you can say. So choose these three sentences on your notebook, please. On your not these three sentences. Go ahead. When you have your examples, let me know. Cuando ya tengan sus tres ejemplos, me avisan. Because you are going to repeat them. Yo, yo, yo los tengo. Go ahead, Isabel. There are my there are many stores near my house. Mm -hmm. There is there is a bar near my house. There is a school, a police station, and a shop near my house. Very good job. Church. Excellent sentence. A church. Church. Nice job. Any other example? And if you don't have them, you can invent them. There is an airport near my house. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Lisette, go ahead, Lisette. Okay. Yo? Yes, yes, Wendy. A <laughs> oh, Wendy, Lisette. Okay. Le, le dije Lisette y nunca le digo Lisette. Oh, Wendy, go. Me sentí engañada. <laughs> there is a supermarket near my house. Good. There are many pupusas place near my house. There is a main hall a car garage, and a drugstore near my house. Very good job, right? There's a main hall, right? Very good job. Nice job, Wendy said. Let's continue. Who's next? Can see. It. Next, next, next. Open your microphone and share.
Okay. Uh -huh. Go, Guadalupe. There is a post office near my house. There are many dairy stores near my house. There is a drugstore, a factory, and a park near my house. Excellent job. Very good sentences. I need one more volunteer. Me? Yes. Yes, Tati, go. Okay. Um, there is a bookshelf, bookshelf shop near my house. There are many supermarkets near my near my house. There is a bank and a gas station near my house. Very good job, right? A supermarket, right? A supermarket. Because if you say a supermarket, es un supermarcador, right? Supermarket, supermarket. And the final me, volunteer, me, go me. ahead. Go, 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 go. Me. Okay. There is a bakery near my house. Good job. There are many, there are many grocery stores near my house. There is a market, a library, and pupusas place near my house. Very good job, a library. Eh, yo tengo mis ejemplos así todavía se puede. Ya, yeah, Catherine, go ahead. Vamos. There, there is a car wash near my house. Yes. There are many pupuserias play near my house. There yes. is a gas, gas station near my house. Very good. There is a gas station, a pupusas place, right? Pupusas place near my house. And the boys, I need to find one of the boys. I haven't heard your voices. No he escuchado las voces de mis chicos este día. ¿Qué pasa? Roberto, Jorge, Eric. <laughs> Jorge, vamos. Uh, there is a library near my house. There are many restaurants near my house. Mm, there is a pupusas near my house. There is a pupusas uh, place. Uh, place. A place. A pupusas place in a bookstore near my house. Very good job, right? There is a pupusas place. And that's the form. Go ahead, please. There is a uh, police station near my house. Very good. There is a school near my house. There is a bus station near my house. A bus station, right? A bus, bus station. Good job, my dear students. That's beautiful, right? When I when I ask for participations and you start, that's beautiful, right? This is the first thing that I did with you, right? Where do I go if I need? An aspirin, where do I go if I need an aspirin? You can buy aspirin at a drugstore, right? In El Salvador, if I need to buy bread, where do I go? You can buy bread at? Bakery. bakery. The bakery, right? Only at the bakery. Donde vayamos en El Salvador? At the bakery, supermarket. at the supermarket. Grocery store. <laughs> on the grocery store, on the street, right? You can buy bread on the street here in El Salvador, on the corner of the supermarket. It's Where else? I, exactly, at the traffic lights, right? At the traffic lights, at the market. Where else? Where else can we buy bread? I think only there, right? Where can I buy a dictionary here in El Salvador? A dictionary? Bookstore. At the bookstore, right? You can buy a dictionary at the bookstore, right? Where can I buy a sandwich, people? You can buy a sandwich. You can buy a supermarket. Okay, you can buy a sandwich at the supermarket. Mm -hmm. What else? Gasification. At the gas station, very good. Any specific restaurant for sandwiches? Subway. At Subway, right? You can go to Subway. Okay, you can go to the restaurant. And Pollo here Campero. at Pollo Campero, right? Even on the bus. At if you Pollo are, Real. At Pollo Real, you can go and buy it, right? See, if you are traveling from Santa Ana to San Salvador, on the bus, right? at the bus terminal. Si está viajando en bus, en la terminal. <laughs> you can buy a sandwich. And also on the bus. 
No sé si hay alguien de Santa Ana aquí. Nadie. Santanecos. Nadie. Familia Santaneca. Only, only no. me. <laughs> only me. Yeah. In Santa Ana, when you travel and you are on the bus, there is one very famous lady, right? Siempre al llegar a Santa Ana en Metro Centro, hay una señora que dice, sandwiches. <laughs> It's always there. <laughs> And I always tell my husband, right? Siempre le digo a mi esposo cuando viajamos en bus, de repente le digo, hey, ¿quieres un sándwich? <laughs> Because she's always there. So you can buy sandwiches in front of Metro Centro in Santa Ana. So you can go and buy there. If I want to buy a sweatshirt, un suéter, una, un suéter, where can I buy it? Where can I go to at buy a store? Sweater? At the store. Uh -huh. What else? No hay mucho presupuesto. Where can I go? Shopping. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> Yo voy, usted va, todos vamos. <laughs> a paca. <laughs> a la fea paca, right? You can a go la to, la, to la paca, right? To la <laughs> We go to the park. We go. Yeah. Para la ropa para el gimnasio. For Esta everything. Carita. You can go and buy for everything. I love to go for the school events. Para los eventos de la escuela. Que es hawaiano, que no sé qué, que no sé cuánto. I go there. So I love shopping center. That, yeah, that's my salvation all the time. Right? Because the teacher says like, mamita mañana de hawaiano, mamita mañana de rockero, que no queda shopping center. UFG, aquí voy. So you can go to buy a sweater at shopping center. At Metro Centro, at Prisma Moda, right? You can go and get it as well. So, ninguno de estos comercios nos ha pagado nada por estos menciones. I have here, excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? <clears throat> a public restroom? I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh, my son needs a restroom. Well, there is a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? Ah, it's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of Main and First? Yeah, it's across from the park. You can't miss it. Thanks a lot, right? In this case, She's looking for a specific place, the public restroom, right? She's looking for the public restroom. And Daño she needs, público. right? She needs to go there. The bathroom, for example, the bathroom is a place in your house. It's private, right? But the restroom, it's public, right? El restroom es un baño público. And we have it there. So it says a public restroom. I'm sorry. I don't think so. Oh no, my son needs a restroom. Well, there is a restroom in the department store. What is a department store? It's similar to Metro Centro, una tienda por departamentos. You can find everything there. Quiero comprar un sofá, vaya a Metro. Quiero comprar una camisa, a Metro. Quiero comprar una pelota, a Metro. The department store. On Main Street, okay? When you refer to the streets, you say on on Main Street, right? It's like, for example, if I say on Roosevelt Street, right? On what? Another one on Mas Ferrer or whatever, right? Alameda. And uh, yeah, on the, what is another name of the streets here? I have much number de calles que, no me lo puedo mucho, pero yeah. On the 23rd, on the first or the second, right? Where on Main Street? It's on the corner. On the corner, in La Esquina, right? On the corner of Main and First Avenue. Porque es the Main and First. Siempre en las esquinas, por ejemplo. Here, if you are, if you have a corner, you have one street here and another street here, right? It's on the corner of this street and this other street, right? It's on the corner. And it says, yeah, it's across from, across from the park. Right? El parque está de este lado, yo estoy de este lado. And there is a street across from, al cruzarse de el parque. Right? Across from the park. 
And it says, you can miss it. You can miss it. It's like, no te puedes perder. Thanks a lot. Right? In order to talk about this, I am going to show you this picture, right? This is the one that I wanted to use today. And these are prepositions of place. Prepositions of place. How do you recognize them? That you say, on. On, it's sobre la calle, right? On. On the corner. En la esquina. On the corner. Off. Okay? Across from. Al cruzarse de. Next to. It's a la par. Right? Next to. Right? Between. It's in the middle. Right? In the middle of something. For example, in this case, you say between. The pen is between, right? There you have. We have another, right? Other types of prepositions. For example, in front of. In front of is frente a. You say behind, that it's atrás de, right? But in the case of the streets, the most common ones are on, on the corner, across from, next to, between. Okay, those are the most common ones when you talk about places in the map, right? In this case, you say the department store, it's on Main Street. Está en la calle principal. That is the meaning of on, on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First. Cuando usemos on the corner, siempre vamos a usar dos calles. On the corner of First and Main Avenue, right, or Main Street, right? It's across from the park. Al cruzarse del parque, right? Al pasarse la calle del parque. It's next to the bank. A la par del banco, right? It's between the department store and the restaurant. Between nunca va seguido de tú. Eso es un error bien común. Que dicen, it's between two. Between to the department. No, it's between the department store and the restaurant. Y siempre vamos a tener dos lugares porque está en medio de dos cosas. It's between the department store and the restaurant. But how are we going to understand this one? Que mejor para entender esto que poniéndolo en contexto. We have here a little map, right? And I have here two places, right? I have here the news stand. Y me dicen, teacher, pero donde está el news stand? The news stand is next to the music store on David's Street. Encontremos donde está David's Street. Ah, it's right here. Okay, aquí está David's Street. Ya la encontramos. Entonces, ¿qué andamos buscando? The news stand. The news stand is next to the music store. Where is the music store? Right here, right? The music store is here and the news stand is next to. Aquí está. Across from the movie theater. Aquí está el movie theater. So it is across from. Across from the movie theater porque hay una calle y nos tenemos que cruzar. Across from the movie theater, next to the music store. And there you have a definition of a place. What is the next place, right, that we are going to say? For example, if I say, people, where is the Italian restaurant? ¿Cómo lo ubicaríamos? Where is the Italian restaurant? The corner of East Main Street. Uh -huh. Across from the bank. Across from the bank, right? You can say it's across from the bank. Very good. You can say it's across from the bank. It's on the corner of David and Main, right? On the corner of David and Main Street. Next to what? Next to the post office. Next to the post office and next to? The the travel travel agent, agent. Next to the travel agent, right? Imagine that I am going to the grocery store. Where is the grocery store? On what street? 
the grocery oh, store street. is on Maple Street. Maple Street. Oh, next wow. to Park the parking lot. lot. Next to the parking lot, right? Next to the parking lot. What are the prepositions of place that we can use here? In front of, next to, behind, right? Detrás de, across from, on the corner between. of, between, in medio, right? And on. Those are the different prepositions of place that we can use. If I say people, this place is on Maple Street next to the drugstore. What is it? Maple Street. It's on Maple Street next to the drugstore. Across from the park. Swimming pool. The swimming. Right. This place, this place is on David Street next to the restroom. This place is on it's David Street. Listen, this place is on David Street next to the public restroom. <laughs> next to the public restaurant. restaurant. Let me see. Well, but this is just Main Street um grocery store. It's a grocery store, ok? The grocery store. Creo que la, bueno, sí, la pantalla, la pantalla es esta toda. Llegué tarde, estoy descontinuado, dice Robert. Estamos hablando de places in town. Ok. So here we go. It, yeah, that's the, that's the picture. I am going to send you the picture and I need you to identify places for tomorrow, ok? Para mañana, tienen que identificar al menos uno o dos lugares. Y lo vamos a expresar en la clase. You say, this place is on the corner of Maple Street and Main Street next to the Chinese restaurant. What is it? Listen, this place, it's on the corner of Maple Street and Main Street next to the Chinese restaurant. The bookstore. The bookstore. The bookstore. The bookstore. The bookstore. No, the bookstore, the bookstore. Okay, so I am going to send you the picture in one example. You have to create one example for the class tomorrow, okay? Le voy a pasar lista y mientras vayan oyendo su nombre, pueden ir a dormir, okay? I love this topic. We could continue talking about this topic. Ooh, podríamos pasar hablando de esto horas y horas y horas y horas. I didn't feel the, the time. It was so quick. Ni sentí el tiempo. <laughs> Here we go. Anaisela. Present. Thank you. Have a good night. Te puedes ir a acostar. Good Thank night. you. Have a beautiful night, Ana. Let's continue here with Ana Ruth. Present. Thank you. Have a good night, Brian Francisco. Present. Thank you. Carlos Ernesto. Present. Cynthia Marisol. Present. Thank you. Have a good night. David Alejandro. Here. David Rafael. Present. Thank you. Have a good night. The next one. Diana Beatriz. Oh, Dianita sent a picture. I remember, right? She's She sent a picture. Diego Rodrigo. Diego Rodrigo. Ahí lo tengo, pero no le sirve su micrófono. Eric Javier. Present. Thank you, Fatima Ivin. Jorge Francisco. Present. Josué Abel. Present. Juana Margarita. Present, teacher. Thank you, Catherine Jamilet. Present, teacher. Thank you, feliz noche, Laura Lisset. Present Nine. teacher. Thank you, Lorena Araceli. Present teacher. Thank you. Have a good night, Mirna Yasmin. Good night. Present teacher. Thank you, Oscar Otorniel. Present. Thank you, Reina Jael. Present teacher. Thank you. Have a good night, Roberto Carlos. Present. Thank you. Good night, Sandra Beatriz. 
Present. Thank you. Have a beautiful night. Sebastiana Guadalupe. Good night. Present, teacher. Thank you. Good night. Tatiana Good night, Abigail. Present. Thank you. Good night. Uh, Adriana Burgos. Thank you. Hey, Wendy Lisa. <laughs> good night, teacher. I'll Thank see you, you tomorrow. <laughs> and good night. See you tomorrow, Mr. Josue Abel. Yes, right. I call your name. Sí, le paso lista a Josue. Have a beautiful night. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Rodri and Juanita. See you tomorrow, my dear students. Bye-bye.